Hi, Captain Mike here. Have you ever been where you wanted to find the center of something? Let's say a circle, something round, and you wanted to find the center. And you weren't a carpenter and you didn't have all these swell, neat tools. Uh, so you kind of wondered how to do it. Well, first thing you can do is you can buy you one of these on eBay or on Amazon, about six or seven bucks. And they work great for this kind of stuff, you see. You just kind of take a pin and you mark it. You move it around. You about 90 degrees. Let's use a little. Let's use a little more better pin, a more better one. All right. You mark it and you move it about 90 degrees and you mark it again. And voila, you have the center. Okay, that's just wonderful. These things come with different uh, little things that you can line up on it. They always find the center of a circle. Now, the problem happens with us glass people, and that's what this is about. It's about glass people. You got yourself a great old big piece of glass, and this thing doesn't make it to the center. So you got to kind of make you a mark out here like this, and then you have to extend it with something on out and do the same thing. Now, believe it or not, that'll get it done. Uh, but, hey, we, we're in the exact science here, okay? So, I'm gonna show you how to build you one of these. Uh, things similar to this. And uh, you can do it yourself. You can make these things out of plywood, out of regular wood. You can make them out of any number of things. It just so happened I had some Lexan, okay? And what you're going to need is a big enough piece of Lexan to get pretty much your square shape out of. Uh, in this case, uh, I chose about 16 inches because that would be more than a gracious plenty for what I'm going to do. And I made this part is going to be six uh, is going to be two inches wide on both places. So what I got to do is I've got to go on the table saw. You got a table saw, don't you? Oh well, I'm going to go on the table saw and I'm going to cut this thing out and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back from the table saw. And we cut this nice little L-shaped piece. Mine is 16 on each leg and it is two inches wide. You can make it anything you want. It just so happened this is what I could get out of my piece of Lexan. Scrap Lexan, I happen to have laid around. I did not go buy any, would not suggest you go buy any. Go buy a uh, glass shop, and ask them do they have some scraps. I'm 99% sure they've got some. They'll give it to you. If they don't, they're just cheapskates, okay? But go try it anyway. You will need to cut you an L shape. It needs to be perfectly square. That's a must. And out of another piece of scrap, just go ahead and cut you a square. It can be any size you want. The bigger the better, but any size you want. And then you will need to cut you a piece with a 45 degree angle on it. And I'll show you that in just a minute why. It's also out of scrap. Now I know it's getting complicated, but hang with me here just a minute. All you gotta do to make this little jewel is put your 45 degree, not excuse me, your, your, your uh, square piece right here inside this thing, right? And then you take this piece that you've cut, and the reason, it don't have to be square on the end here, but it does have to be where it will fit just exactly like this. You will line it up on your L piece and on this piece. This piece is not going to be permanent, okay folks? So bear with me. You'll slide it over until you've got it um, right here in this corner. Right here. It's got to be right there. And then you want to line it up with this corner right here. Okay, that's what the square piece is for. And if you did all your math and you did all your cuts right, it's going to line right up. Okay, and you don't have to draw a line on it. I'm going to just for grins and giggles. But here is the next part. Be real careful with this. I use super fast, it's a super glue product. Uh, I buy it by the quart, but I use a lot of it in wood turning and other things. The reason I use this is it wicks. It will run all up under this place where you 
have it glued together. You just kind of put it down there and skeech it and it'll run under it. It run under it a long ways. And then you can run it under this side, same way it wicks. I wish you could see it wicking under there, but you can't. And then I use, the we're gonna do this for the sake of this video, I use some accelerator because I don't care if they call it super glue. Some of most of y'all are probably not old enough to remember when this stuff first came out. And it was it was it was better to slice bread. And they said instant glue, instant would glue. Well hell, some things it's instant, like your fingers. Uh the other stuff, not so instant. So you know, that's uh what you gotta do, and you don't want to get it on this part. Now, once this is glued here on this side and it's really nice and set, you might have to let it sit a while. You might even want to clamp it. Then you can turn it over and you can run a bead here and you can run a bead back here in the back. I'm not going to pick it up because it very well, the accelerator looks like it has kicked in, but it's hard to tell sometimes. This accelerator, like me, it's old and I don't know that it's uh, working. But here's what you got. You got this really, really, really swell. I think maybe I can pick it up. Angle finder. Like I said, you can make it out of plywood. You can make it out of sheet metal if you wanted to. You had to figure out how to glue it, get it all stuck together. And once you got that done, it will find the center of pretty much whatever you need to find the center of. If you've got anything longer than uh, uh, this thing right here, which is... Uh, blah, 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 blah. about well, Michael, find the right thing so you can measure. It's running roughly 13 and a half inches here. That means that you can find the center of a 26 inch circle if you got a kiln big enough to put something in there. Uh, but that's it, that's how you'll do this. And you're sitting there scratching your head, saying, why in the heck did that old man do that? Hey, you want us to carry us through Lexan and squares and math and 90 degrees and 45 degrees and accelerators and all that stuff. And he even had a pocket knife out. And we all know you can't have a pocket knife anymore. You didn't see that. So here you go. This is all to make you happy, but have I got a deal for you? You don't have a table saw. You don't have an ink pen. I mean, you know, you don't have Lexan and you don't want to fool with it. This is the great day for you. Go to Harbor Freight and get you one of these things. Okay, they got them short and they got them long. Go ahead and invest in a long one. Let me show you something. It's going to amaze you. <laughs> That's a center finder. You just take that rascal right there and you put it on your piece of glass and you bump those two edges right there together. <laughs> bump them on the edge of your glass. Go over here and draw your circle and draw your line. Go over here to the next piece. I can't talk something in my mouth. Put another one on there. Bump it up. Boom. Double check it by a third line. And we'll do it just as soon as I get here. Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, without a table saw, without a pocket knife, without a sharpie marker, you know where the center of your glass is. And you didn't have to do all this crazy stuff that Captain Mike drug you through because he used to felt like making a video on a windy day like today. It's cold. 40 degrees here in Georgia. It was 80 yesterday and raining like crap. I like this. I think it's neat. So I've got one from my shop now. May never use it. And you go to Harbor Freight and buy you one, probably less than 10 bucks. Always remember your 20% discount coupons for them. Pick you one up. You don't have to fool this. All right. That is my video on how to make yourself a center finding square and the easy way to do it. And this is Captain Mike reinventing the wheel. And I'm out of here.